Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, so before we proceed to our lesson for today, please don't forget to subscribe, okay, like and share, and click the bell below so that you will get notified the next time I uploaded my next video. Alright, so our lesson for today is all about... Alright, so in multiplication of decimals by decimals, so for example, if you have 1.67 times, let's say times um, 3.2, okay. So let's start with the first number, let's start with 2. 2 times 7 is 14, carry 1 on top of 6. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So 3, carry over 1 on top of 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Okay, now in the second number, let's use another color. So 3 times 7 is 21. So you put your answer on the second number here. So carry over 2 on top of 6. Then 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So 0 carry 2 on top of 1. Then 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 right and then you have to add them all right so if you don't like to get confused you can add 0 here 4 plus 0 is 4 then 3 plus 1 is 4 all right then 3 plus 0 is 3 then bring down 5 so now the problem is where to put your decimal now so as you can see in the first number in the multiplicand there are two numbers after the point so that is 6 and 7 so that is 1 2 there are two numbers yeah? in the multiplier there is one number after the decimal point so that is here so 2 it's counted as, counted as 1. So count them all together. So 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so from the last number, you count 3 from this point. So 1, 2, 3. Then you put your number, you put your decimal point there. So the answer, when you multiply 1.67 by 3.2 is 5. Point three four four. All right. Okay. Let's take another example. So if you have, let's say, five point seventy six times zero point twenty five. Okay. So let's start with 5 or the first number of the multiplier. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry 3 on top of 7. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 3 is 38. Carry 3 on top of 5. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3 is 28. Now, in the second number, let's start with 2. So 2 times 6 is 12. So we're going to write the answer in the second number. So carry 1 on top of 7. So 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So 5 carry over 1 on top of 5. So 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Alright, now in the third number, so since it is 0, so 
So 0 times 6 is you have to write your answer in the third number here. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times 7 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. Then add them all. So you can bring down 0 here. Then this one 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry 1 on top of 8. So 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 5 is 14. So 4. Carry 1 on top of 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. Then 1 plus 0 is 1. So again, count the numbers after the decimal point. So the decimal point is here. So there are two numbers after the decimal point in the multiplicand. And in the multiplier, there are also two numbers after the decimal point. So you count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you count 4 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's here. So the answer, when you multiply 5.76 by 0 0.25 is 1.4400. All right, so that's the answer. Okay, for the third example, for example, if you have uh, 98.47 times, let's say, mm, 0.7, 0.7. Okay, so that's it. So let's start with the first number. 0 0.7, now 7 times 7 is 49. Yeah, carry 4 on top of 4. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 4 is 32. Carry 3 on top of 8. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 3 is 59. Carry 5 on top of 9 then 7 times 9 is 63 plus 5 is 68 all right now in the second number 0 times 7 is 0 so we have to write our answer in the second line or the second number 0 times 4 is 0 0 times 8 is 0 and 0 times 9 is 0 then add them on so bring down 9 2 9 8 plus 0 is 8 6 plus 0 is 6 so again count the number after the decimal point so how many numbers are there in after the decimal point so we have 1 2 then the multiplier is 1 okay so you count them all, 1, 2, 3, then from this point you count 3, 1, 2, 3, so here. So the answer when you multiply 98.47 and 0 0.7 is 68.929. Okay, for the last example, let's take a little bit difficult problem. Let's say if you have... Mm, 84.78 times 0 0.612 so 0 0.612 right so let's start with the first number 2 times 8 is 16 carry 1 on top of 7 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15 Carry 1 on top of 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Okay, 2 times 8 is 16. So you just write 16. And then in the second number. So 1 is the second number. So 1 times 8 is 8. So we have to write the answer in the second number. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 8 is 8. Alright? 
Now, let's move on to the third number. Okay. And that is 6. So, 6 times 8. So, our answer will be right here. So, 6 times 8 is 48. Carry 4 on top of 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Plus 4 is 46. So, 6. Carry over 4 on top of 4. 6 times 4 is 24. Plus 4 is 28. And then carry 2 on top of 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 2 is 50. So you just write 50. Okay. Then for the port number. Okay. For the port number. So 0 times 8 is 0. So you write it in the port number. 0 times 7 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. 0 times 8 is 0. Then you add them all. So bring down 6 here. Alright. Then 8 plus 5 is 13. Carry 1 on top of 9. So 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 7 is 17. Plus 8 is 25. Carry 2 on top of 6. Yeah. So 2 plus 6 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. Plus 6 is 18. Carry 1 on top of 1. And then 1 plus 2. 1 plus 1 I mean is 2. Plus 8 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. Carry 1 on top of 0. Is it? 1 plus 0 is 1. Plus 0 is 1. Then 5 plus 0 is 5. Okay. Now, in the first number, in the multiplicand, how many numbers after the decimal point? So, 1, 2. Okay. And then in the multiplier, how many numbers are there after the decimal point? So, 1, 2, 3. Then let's count, let's count them all. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, from this point, you count 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the point will be here. And the answer is okay. So 51.88536. That's the answer when you multiply 84.78 by 0 0.612. Alright, that's all for today. So don't forget if you like to learn more about maths. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos, and then click the bell so that you will get notified the next time I uploaded my next video, okay? Bye for now. Thank you.